like this. Watch. Scoot over here and turn around and face me. You gotta get some. Like this. A little bit of sass. <laughs> <laughs> Our last week in Arizona would be in the southern part of the state. Our first stop would be in Ajo, a small town near the border with beautiful skies and welcoming people. We stayed at the Ajo Heights RV Park, which is immaculate, quiet, and friendly. It also sits just a few minutes from downtown Ajo. The history of Ajo centers around copper mining and the new Cornelia Mine. This mile and a half wide open pit mine was operated for almost 70 years and over $20 billion of ore came out of this location. The mine shut down in 1983, but the town built to support it lives on. It even has a little Hollywood fame to it. The 1972 science fiction horror film, Night of the Lepus, was partially filmed here. You know, the one about the giant killer bunnies. Night of the Lepus. If you come to town, make sure you visit the little museum outside of town where you'll learn all about the history of the area. Aho is eclectic and the murals found throughout the town show that. Another really cool part of the town is the beautiful Spanish Revival Plaza and Rail Depot. This is a neat little town hidden away in southern Arizona. Our purpose for visiting wasn't in the town though. We came to visit the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument that is about 30 minutes south of town. So this morning we are at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument in Arizona. We, we're staying in Ajo, Arizona, which is about 40 minutes that way. And uh, we are here to see some amazing cacti, mostly the Oregon Pipe, but the other ones, there's Segura. Se is that what they're called? Segura cactus? Cactus? Segura cactus. So there's one over here that's really got a bit of flair to him. You see how he's kind of got one arm up and one hand on his hip. He's, that's a sassy cactus there. But Susanna really wants to find, you know, the one cactus that you know everybody has in their yards and one now. The tall one with the two sides. So we're looking for the perfect cactus and some funny cactuses as well. Cacti. Cacti. I'm registering us. Can you stand like that cactus for me, Corbin? Go stand up there. No, up further. I'm racist. Stop. 
The other way. The other way. Other hand. Now you gotta, you gotta kind of get your hip out a little bit. What is that? No, it's... here. Hold this for me. Like this. Watch. Scoot over here and turn around and face me. You gotta get some. Like this. A little bit of sass. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the Victoria Mine. Oh, hi. I'm not even pointing at it. Hello. Hi. Careful. Don't trip. Yeah. The Victoria Mine Trail. 2.2 out, 2.2 back. Hopefully, we see some... Said we would find some old buildings and whatnot at the end of the trail. And some cool cacti. And we did see some cool cacti. From teddy bear cactus to saguaro, barrel cactus, and more. This is a great place to hike. The trail we took led us out to the Victoria Mine and the remains of buildings and mining implements. Welcome! Come into my cabin, it's nice, you like? No. Isolated as they were, the folks living here had some great views. The mine was operated off and on from the 1890s until 1976. This is a cool place to connect with history and explore a little known national monument. We still hadn't really found that perfect saguaro or organ pipe cactus yet though, so we began our search again and found both hiding nearby each other. Susanna found a great example. Of what? Of a put up your dukes saguaro. It's what we envision growing up a traditional cactus looks like because that's what you see. The. <laughs> Mission complete, we decided to head back home. Susanna is going to be providing us all with Sagoro knowledge. Susanna? So the Sagoro cactus was actually named for Andrew Carnegie, you know, Carnegie Hall. Its um, official name is Carnegia Gigantia. It can only be found in the Sonoran Desert, which is where we're at right now. They grow very slowly. They grow one to one and a half inches in its first eight years. Just a little thing like that? Yeah. Wow. So an adult saguaro can reach 60 feet in height. Wow. Some adult saguaros can weigh more than four tons. Wow. Saguaros can live up to 150 to 200 years old. And they're not even considered an adult cactus until 125 years. When are they old enough to drink? Well, they don't even get their first arm until 50, so probably 50 because they can hold the glass. This is old nubbin. I'm ready to drink now. Yep. So that's your cigarro knowledge. That's so a, as we drove back into town, we made plans to return to the National Monument to hike more and also spend a little more time exploring the area. Mother Nature turned those plans upside down, though. Hello, 
again. Hello. It's Black Friday. It is Black Friday, but we're not going shopping. No, we're leaving Ajo, Arizona due to a blackout. <laughs> Had a little bit of a rain, wind, uh, storm last night. That it was not little. We couldn't sleep either. Yeah, it didn't sleep so good last night. But it blew down power lines all around town. They said it'd be fixed by noon, and then at 11 o'clock I went to the grocery store, and they said, oh no, they just called us and it's gonna be at least another 10 to 12 hours. The gas stations aren't functioning because their generators ran out of fuel at the gas station. So you can't get gas. We do have a generator, but you know, we said, let's just go. It's okay. We we wanted to see Tombstone, so we get an extra couple days <laughs> to go to the OK Corral and the bird cage and yeah. Yep. We were excited to visit Tombstone, and our RV park placed us right next to the action. It's not often that you get to brag about the gunfights outside your front door. This one's kind of cool though. So let's talk RV parks in Tombstone. You have a few options. There's the Tombstone RV park, which is just outside of town. It's pretty nice. And with good Sam, it's $36 a night. They have a shuttle that brings you in, but you aren't really close. Then there's the Wells Fargo, which is where we're at. And it's- It's really close and super convenient. We haven't had to drive but one time. It's a little tight. I'll show you. But it is literally right on the end of Allen Street. That's the OK Corral right there. It's like just on the other side of that camper. So what you sacrifice in space for your RV. And maybe a little bit of sound in the daytime. And, and some sound in the daytime. Church bells, you gun fights. You make up for with being so close to town. Hearing the gunfights five or six times a day, hearing the horses go by, the church bells. So the experience is, is pretty cool. So we just walked out and this is our view. Tombstone bills itself as the most authentic Western town left in the United States. As you walk the streets that Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday did, you'll be immersed in the sights and sounds of an old West mining town. Of course, the town is famous for the gunfight at the OK Corral, so you have to go watch the show, right? The OK Corral holds reenactments four times a day, and the tickets are only $10. There's plenty to look at before and after the show, too. I got you now, Holiday. Raise them 
If you're looking for more gunfights, there are other options as well. We visited the Gunfight Palace that reenacts actual shootings and killings that took place. The palace holds three shows a day, and each one mixes a little comedy, a little history lesson, and a little Wild West. I have seen you shoot <laughs> <laughs> You know, folks, he never misses. <laughs> Storms, I've had a belly full of your gas. I told you once you got something on your mind, you best spit it out. You know, with your slick hands, those loose lips, they're gonna get you down. Well, I reckon that's why they call you the Undertaker's friend. He wasn't much of a poker player, was he, Matt? Nope. I'll tell you though, I sure am gonna miss his money. <laughs> well, let's get us another drink. Play some more poker. Across the street from the palace is the famous Birdcage Theater. This is one of the last original buildings of the area and houses a lot of history. For $15 a person, you can see it all. Twenty-six people were reportedly killed in this theater, and there are over 140 bullet holes in its walls. It's also the site of the longest poker game in history. It played continuously for eight years, and over $10 million traded hands. One more spot that we highly recommend is Boot Hill Cemetery. Why? Because walking along row after row of these graves will show you just how wild, dangerous, and deadly it was in Tombstone. The cemetery was only in use for about five years, and in that time, nearly 250 people were buried here. Some famous, and many not so famous. The men killed in the gunfight at the OK Corral are buried here. Some of the markers just give names, but others include a little more information, some humorous, and some just sad. A strange pain and entry fee to go stand by the graves of so many people that were killed but it's also kind of a lesson I guess that it was not a good time you saw there's murdered murdered shot down killed murdered suicide and then you had some children that died of diseases and stuff but there's a few years there where this place was just absolutely horrible and I would I would not want to have a family here it is still neat to come see and to kind of imagine what history was like and what Tombstone was like 130 some odd years ago. You want to know why it's called Boot Hill? Why is it called Boot Hill? Because a lot of the people here died with their boots on. That's what the guy said at the trolley tour. Makes sense to me. He's a smart kid. So it's $3 per person, 16 and older, to get in. Kids 16 and under are free, or 15 and under are free. So for $3, this is great. It's a great history lesson. They give you a pamphlet to tell you how most of these folks died. There's a lot of unknowns out here. Uh, so you don't know who everybody is, but you get a, a good sense for just how terrible life could be in Arizona that long ago. Tombstone is a fun town to visit and walking the streets day or night is a great experience. The town has a lot of attractions from gunfights to ghost tours to horseback riding. There's something for just about everyone. A link to the Tombstone website is in our description. Our time here was done though and we were headed out of Arizona and off to Texas. Join us next week as we go to Terlingua, Texas and Big Bend National Park. 
Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.